What's up, YouTube? Bay Area Baller 18 back again. I've about speculated my brains out on who the 49ers are going to pick on Thursday. The draft is in four days. This video will be relevant even after the draft because today we're looking at the 49ers projected starting offensive line. We're going to go through position by position, and I'm going to give you their PFF score, both in the run and the pass, as well as we're going to check out a highlight or two from the film. Let's get it started. First up, left tackle Trent Williams just signed a massive contract this offseason. Not only is Trent Williams smart and strong, but what separates him from a lot of the other left tackles is his movement skills. Here he is lined up at left tackle, and George Kittle's going to receive a handoff on this play. And Trent Williams is going to blow up the middle linebacker, Jordan Hicks, eliminating him from the play. Oh, my. There's not many left tackles that can get there that quick to make that block. It allows George to pick up the first down. Watch this view at full speed. Here's Trent. Let's check out one more rep from Trent Williams. Here he is lined up at left tackle going against 2019 first team all pro Chandler Jones. Look at how he moves his feet. I mean, Chandler Jones didn't go anywhere. Next up, left guard, where we have projected starter Lakin Tomlinson, who's 29 years old, and he's making $6.5 million this year. PFF gave Tomlinson a pass blocking grade of 62.2 and a run blocking grade of 80.9 with a cumulative grade of 78.8. All right, this is week two, 2020. Here's Lakin Tomlinson lined up at left guard. Left guard. He's going to be going up against Quinnen Williams, the player that was selected one picked after Nick Bosa. And some of you might remember the play. Let's roll it. It's a season-altering play. Check out this matchup right here. Quinnen Williams with the instant win against Tomlinson. And Jimmy G sprains his ankle, and we know it was a bad sprain. It may be a bit unfair to pick out one play from Tomlinson's season and show it to you, and of course he's he's getting beat. He's probably not a fan of that, but that was a season-altering play, and that is just the life of an offensive lineman. Fans, we remember the negative plays you make. If you're If you make a good block, we almost think of it as, okay, you're doing your job, but it's the sacks that you give up that we remember, and that sticks out more than any block that he made all season was the non-block against Quinn and Williams that got Jimmy injured. All right, next, let's move to center, where the 49ers signed Alex Mack. Alex Mack had the lowest PFF score of his career, but it was still a solid season, and this was in 2020 with the Falcons. Uh, he had a score of 65.9. He was a 70.2 in the run and a 56.4 in the pass. But if we go back to 2016, his last season with Kyle Shanahan in Atlanta, he had a grade of 90.8. He was the number one ranked center that year. And he spoke to it at his press conference. He said, I know this system and I do well in this system. In addition, I think he's going to be able to spread a wealth of knowledge throughout that offensive line room. All right, for this highlight, I went back to the 2016 Super Bowl that had Kyle Shanahan as the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons. This is going to be a run to Devontae Freeman to the left. And here is Alex Mack. He's going to snap the ball and reach and get to the outside of Devontae Hightower to make this block. And that's going to open up the alley. You're going to get a seal here and a seal there for Devontae Freeman, who's going to break this run. Check this block out. Yes, Alex Mack's going to get there. And look at look at the alley it creates. Look at that seam. 
This is what Alex Mack can bring to the table. Is he aging? Yes. But he's smart. He's quick. If he can hold up for 16 games, we have improved our center position massively compared to last year. Then Devontae Freeman does the rest. Okay, let's run it back full speed. Watch this block in full speed. Yeah, that's a great block. Next up, we're going to look at projected starting right guard, Daniel Brunskill. In 2020, Brunskill had a pass block grade of 49.2 and a run block grade of 65.6. That's good for an overall grade of 61.7, and that's per PFF. Brunskill signed to a one-year deal. He's making a little south of a milli. All right, here's Daniel Brunskill lined up at right guard, and that's where we expect him to play in 2021. He's going to have to compete for a job, though. Whether we draft a guy or sign another player, he's not going to be handed the keys to the right, right guard position. We've moved him around a ton early on in his career, and you have to wonder how that's affected him. Is it easier to settle in and find your niche at one position or bounce around? He's played tackle, center, guard. I mean, let's put him in a spot and try to keep him there so he can really perfect his craft. This is week one of 2020, and Daniel Brunskill is going to be going up against Angelo Blackson. It's not a good rep. Check it out. He's another guy on the Niners line who's better in the run than he is in the pass. And he's going to get bullied here by Blackson, who's been a journeyman. He's going to be on his third different team in three years. But just with the long arm. Gets the long arm, and then he just pulls him down. Hate to see it. Jimmy holds the ball a little too long. This is another knock on Jimmy, and this is why we're drafting a QB. By the time this video airs, you might already know who we've drafted. All right, let's run it at full speed so you can really get a feel for uh, the block Daniel made here. But, but, and then he just gets, he gets bullied right there. Despite losing that rep, I like Brunskill. You know, you can't have blue chip players at every position. I've seen him make a block where he's engaged. Maybe he's double teaming a defensive tackle, and then he sees a blitzer coming, and he can pass off the lineman and pick up the blitzer. So I have seen Brunskill do some nice things. Let's move to right tackle, where we have the most scrutinized player, at least he was in 2020, and that's Mike McGlinchey. He was a high draft pick. He had a pass blocking grade of 58.3, which is not good. But he had a run blocking grade of 91.3. And this is where I, PFF makes sense to me. A lot of people don't like PFF and they don't agree with, with the grades. But this to me makes sense because I see Mike McGlinchey do good things in the run game. He can get to the second level. He uses his angles well. But in the pass, his pass blocking is a problem. And Niners fans know it. And it's reflected here. 91.3 run blocking, 58.3 pass blocking. So that's where PFF makes sense to me. Good for an overall grade of 79.7, which was ranked as the 19th tackle out of 79. So from that standpoint, not bad. The 49ers have until May 3rd to decide whether they're going to pick up Mike McGlinchey's fifth-year option. All right, here we're going to take a look at a couple of Mike McGlinchey's pass blocking reps. And they're not pretty. This is against Marcus Davenport. I mean, he. Mike, Mike, stay on your feet, Mike. Us Niners fans beat up Mike McGlinchey pretty good for his pass blocking, but we also have to acknowledge that he makes some phenomenal blocks in the run game, like here. Here he is, a right tackle, and look how he gets downfield. Let's, let's just roll the clip. This will be the better view right here. Here's Mike at right tackle. Like Trent Brown is not making this block. 
this is where him being Finn does help him out to get to the second or third level. Those are the projected starters for the 49ers offensive line in the upcoming season. Something that I just noticed while putting this video together, all five of our offensive linemen graded higher in the run game than they did in the pass game. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Is that a scheme thing or is that a player evaluation thing? Do, do John and Kyle just value run blockers more than pass blockers? Drop a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been trying to put out a video or two every week, so make sure you like and subscribe. An offensive lineman to keep our eye on in training camp in the preseason, if there is a preseason, is Sean Coleman. He tore his ACL in 2019, and then in 2020, he was an opt-out. And I think he's better than Justin Skewell. PFF gave Justin Skewell a grade of 45.4 last year. Colton McKivitz earned a 53.1. Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time.